Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? It's me, Raven. What's going on? What's good? How you been? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting in it for you. What's going on, people? Whew. I'm going to tell you, it's that type of morning where things are just going a little crazy as usual. Mm. Still don't have a boyfriend. Still don't have a job. Still looking for a job. Still unavailable. Mm. Anyway, um, I had a quiet discussion yesterday, which I found to be very interesting. I was talking to someone online, and they told me, they said to me, it was a, it was a guy who was, I guess he was femme or gay, I don't know. He was gay, and, you know, he had that Beijing in his you know, eyebrows and, you know, the face all done all up and, you know, whatever. Anyway, so I'm like, he read me on one of my videos. So I'm like, he told me what I needed to do is clean it up better so that he could post it on his webpage. And I told him, I said, well, this is what you do. Before you clean up my house, Clean up your own. Because I feel like this. If it's your webpage, maybe you should have an introduction of what you believe and how you think things will be going. If you don't stand behind what I stand behind, don't post it. And there it is. See, my thing is this. You don't dictate me what you think I should say. You don't dictate me or how I should run things. And the funny key, 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 think of it all. He's telling me that you don't have to be a transsexual to understand what a transsexual is going through. Hmm. Let's give another one. Hmm. And he gets a three. Hmm. <laughs> Honey. Boo. Baby. Darling. Sweetie. Let me just break it down to you. You will never know what it's like to be a transsexual unless you get up in the morning and you walk the walk. But if you're not walking the walk, you're just talking the talk. You'll never know what it's like. Just like I'll never know what it's like to be you, you would never know what it's like to be me. I would never know what it's like to be straight, they would never know it's not going to be gay. So my thing is this, he told me, he says to me online, you don't have to be a transsexual to understand what a transsexual go through. I'm a gay male and I work out and I exercise and I eat and I exercise and I get to take steratol twice a day. Maybe that, maybe yesterday he should have six steratol. Because my thing is this, you don't understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> You will never know what it's like to be a transsexual until you walk the walk. Do you know what it's like to be a transsexual when everyone wants to clock you? Do you know what it's like being a transsexual when you go out to the street and people hit their friends and point to you? Do you know what it's like when you go apply for a job and they're more worried about what's between your legs than what's on, what's on top of your head? Do you know what it's like that when you're a transsexual that now the life you live of the house and the garden and all the man and the love that he's going to give you when he comes home to you may not be your reality anymore. No, you know what it's like to be gay. You know what it's like to walk inside of a place and tell everyone that you're straight when you know you're gay. You know what it's like to walk around with a bunch of grease shoved up your ass and you sit down saying that there's something wrong with your body, bitch, and you know what it really is about. Oops, excuse me. Gotcha. Anyway, too graphic for you, but there it is. You know, my thing is this. You haven't walked to walk, so don't talk to talk. I'm not telling you to have empathy and sympathy on me, but baby, before you come for me and tell me what it's like to be a TS, be ready. Because my thing is this. There are a bunch of girls out here like me, and there are a bunch of femboys out here, and there's a bunch of trans male to female and female to male. You don't know what the everyday like is. 
Hell, I didn't. I when I did what I did, I didn't do it for the approval of others. I'm making my way, but it's your way of thinking. It is my way. It's my way. He also decided to put the Lord, God, inside of his message, telling me that the Lord is his strength and the helper of his soul. Now, I usually don't talk about God because I pray to God every morning I have my Bible and I read. And I read my Bible every morning before I start anything. But I'm going to tell you something about people who do Bible work. And I mean this in all kindness. People use Bible work for many reasons and not the reason that it is of God. God loves his children great and small and my thing is he created us he created you he created me he created the black person he created the white person he created the chinese person he created us all and a lot of the races i may be forgetting he created us all so do not come to me and read the bible scripts when you're when you're sitting up here living the life of a sinner as the Bible says within you as well. In the Bible, we all are sinners. Whether you do things in the dark or whether you do it in the light. But I'm not the one who sits back and going to allow you. And let me be very clear with this one. I'm not going to be the one that sit back and let you allow and use God's name and try to chastise me and abuse me in a way that God has no plan for me. You want me to sit back and be so depressed and tell me I'm going to hell and I'm going to burn and all this kind of stuff. Even though he did not say this, but I have gone to church and I have heard the things that they say and I have sit back and watch the preacher who sits back and bang little boys if not the other girls inside the choir, if not the congregation. I have been to church when I sit back and watch the preacher read people. He goes in for the read. You go to church for a nurturing of your spirit. You have no idea. And I can go really deep. You have no idea what a person is going through. So please do not use the Lord's name in vain. And he's want to use it because he's the kind of person who says, Well, the Lord, the Lord, honey, the Lord is your Lord. My God is my God. Anyway. And for anybody that's young, people telling you going to hell, you're not. You're not. God created you. Find a way to get around people that's like you, that can help you, that can encourage you, that can push you, that can make you flourish, that can make you become more than what you ever thought you could be. And stay away from the naysayers and the people who try to put you down. Because their whole purpose is to put you down because they're not happy within their own skin. Nines was out of 10, they're a closet freak, and a simple fact can't deal with the fact that you were strong enough to do something that they couldn't do. And simple fact that you had a stronger backbone than they did, they can't take you. So instead of them encouraging you, they shoot you down. I'm sure a lot of celebrities understand what I'm talking about. You made it to the top, and now all of a sudden you made it there, everybody wants to put you down. Because they couldn't do what you did, they couldn't get to the status that you got to. I'm just saying. All right. Anyway, people, I'm going to cut this really short now. Leave people alone. If you're not being a plus into their life, leave them alone. Because your way is not always the right way. My way is not always the right way. But if I feel as I'm encouraging someone to help someone so they can live another day and not commit suicide, I'm going to try my best on my end. To let them know it's okay. Anyway. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. And thank you for everyone who subscribed. And anyone who's in the gay, LGBT, bi, straight. I love you. I don't even know you and I love you. I have no problem with you. For those who want to sit back and put people down and try to judge them and use the Bible and the Lord and all this stuff. Kind of stuff hands in your business somewhere. Go to church and talk about it. Don't attack somebody else. And here it is, you're gay, and you want to sit back and talk about somebody else. But I always find it funny how gay people come straight when a transgender walk inside the room, and they want to read them, but yet they don't want to deal with the fact that straight people read them. They get all upset, but I'm just saying. Anyway, ooh, I must be heated. Take it down. Anyway, you do you. You do you the best way you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them. <laughs>